Hello, let us present uh, multidisciplinary co simulation for rapid prototyping verification validation using standard FMI functional mockup interface. So, here you see example of the 3 cat uh, nuclear fusion reactor which has a service vessel where we service this uh, reactor and uh, we can co-simulate it together with other tools like CATIA Magic SML as you can see here running smooth simulation and we'll explain how that is implemented. So here is the architecture of the solution. We have CATIA Magic, we have the MOLA for multiphysics simulation, we have DOLMIA for robotic simulation, we have CATIA Magic for the system architecture requirements verification and also we have hardware in the loop and all of those uh, tools are integrated using a functional mockup interface communication interface and uh, also in the back we have traceability for change impact analysis so what use case that enables so first of all the rapid digital prototyping uh, and what would be the workflow so we see we receive new requirements uh, then we investigate what needs to be updated based on the traceability in 3d experience platform then we actually see exactly what parts through the traceability as you can see here i can select the pieces in sysml and then i see the same uh, 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 parts of the system in the 3d cat in multiphysics models and other models related through the traceability then what i do i update those models as actually assign the issues to update the models by the experts and now the work would be done but now we have digital models so why not to execute them and see that the issues are not created based on the updates so for that we need to integrate those models using communication uh, interface uh, functional mockup units uh, generated using a functional mockup interface and co-simulate uh, environment uh, so we co-simulate system model uh, physics model and kinematics model all in the loop so here we can see an uh, example of execution. So we have uh, here a system model executed. We have nice user interface where we can control each joint manually automatically. And we run it and you see here real time how fast this uh, reacts to the 3D CAD. And this is like not simple CAD, you know, it's actually quite large. And also you can see here requirements verification immediately. So this is the goal of this co simulation that we are running uh, models uh, integrated uh, in way dedicated environments and they are testing requirements in their environments what needs to be another use case uh, digital requirements validation and verification so uh, once we have this integration right so it's no longer that just simple execution for the fast prototyping right now we can actually check that they are not failing uh, so we capture requirements we can capture also test cases you know because the use cases comes as a uh, scenarios so we can run those scenarios and we have expected results right so we execute those scenarios in activity diagrams which we will see uh, and we co-simulate and we get a feedback loop from every tool we can get dedicated feedback loop based on that tool for example if Daimola can do physics uh, simulation so it can test for the power usage for the speed of robotic arm if uh, 3D simulation and the robot simulation in Delmia can test, you know, uh, uh, reach of the arm. They can detect collisions. They can test for other things related to the geometry and that we can get as a requirements failure because those different requirements, we mean different things. And now when we execute, we get uh, we get requirements verification uh, here we see in CATIA magic requirements verification based on the joint limits. Now we will run through different scenarios and we will get uh, uh, as a result uh, requirements. Uh, as you can see here, the speed of integration is really high because we can have all those joints moving. Uh, and here we have requirements and we have uh, communication FMU connected uh, to that uh, and we will talk about that later on but here we, we see that uh, uh, execution is saved as the instance and we can uh, track you know bounds value margins for each requirements and we see that uh, of the execution we have uh, three requirements satisfied and one requirement failed uh, with the timestamp that's not it this is uh, what you can do like with formalized requirements in SysML but the big thing of this uh, 
is actually that you would get feedback loop from the decay tech execution environments like here for example robotic simulation if you collide robotic arm with the rest of the uh, environment you see here that we have detection of collision directly in the robotic simulation and it shows like a place of detection it shows time and uh, it records that uh, event and then we can export that event or you can uh, see directly here same in uh, the molar physics simulation application so it tracks uh, physics of the robot uh, and so we see that uh, what was uh, voltage, what was uh, current, what was speed of the robot and many other characteristics related to the simulation directly in environment. Also, we get feedback loop to the CATIA magic to track that in, against the requirements in CATIA magic. Now, how this integration is made is actually using standard uh, called functional mockup units. The standard just got uh, uh, 250 tools recently reached the amazing record of uh, supporting tools. And it is a very uh, lightweight standard. Uh, every tool supporting the standard can uh, import, export, um, or simulate um, integrated models using the standard. So we are leveraging the standard using a specific uh, library supported by the Mola Modelica device driver library, which allows us to integrate with many things like hardware, uh, multiple software using uh, standard interfaces like shared memory, like TCP IP, and we use UDP specifically because that was the fast interface. And in our scenario, as you can see here, we generate those two, two FMUs, which we can put as server client communication. And in our scenario, we control uh, scenario in CATIA magic as a test cases. So we also have requirements for verification. We send targets of coordinates for the robot to the Mola. The Mola has the physics of the robot and sends the actual values to the Lumia in robot simulation in order not to have unrealistic digital movements of the robot. So they are based on the physics. So we have like realistic uh, digitally realistic movements of the robot and then we get feedback loop on the collisions we get feedback loop on physics simulation we also can integrate hardware for actual prototyping using hardware in the loop so here we see video how we can export those communication fmus as you can see here they have ip we have based on the connection uh, communication interface like have port and we export we generate a fmu directly from the model the model is actually great tool supporting that And here we have them all exported those interface FMUs. Now we can import one of those. We will import in CATIA Magic. Another one we can import in the robotic simulation tool. And they start communicating through that network interface or shared memory interface. This is not model export and import. This is actually communication established parametric communication. And you see how it works. If we put two of them in CATIA Magic, we change parameter of one. We have updated parameter in another one. You see they are communicating so that's like cross tools cross uh, pcs cross environments does not increase the processing power does not uh, force tool to do more things than it should do it just allows people to work in dedicated environments and have uh, rapid integration for the prototyping and for the validation and verification so here we see the method how to add that in the a robotic simulation app in Delmia. You see, you add FMU and then you right click here and then say uh, map. So you map another FMU. You see eight joints, eight uh, outputs connect to the robot. That's how we integrate. So thank you. Let's keep in touch.